guy a long time ago. Artificial intelligence has proved itself to be one of the most prominent technologies of the modern day. It has the potential for use in almost every industry in the world and is improving at a sometimes frightening rate. One of the most controversial uses of AI is its place in the film and entertainment industry. With its capability in writing, image and video creation, and other key components of the industry, many artists are already feeling the increasing pressure on their jobs and livelihood. Does the creation of AI mark the eradication of the artists? What makes AI different from other technological innovations of the past? Here are the key factors. Learning and adaptation, autonomy, natural language processing, and continuous improvement. AI's capacity to learn and adapt its behavior with new information distinguishes itself from traditional technologies that follow pre-programmed instructions. Its autonomy highlights that AI can make decisions without human intervention. Its ability to understand natural language allows for efficient use through text or speech. And of course, AI's inherent capacity for improvement means that as time goes on, so will the abilities and complexities of new AI. So how is AI currently being implemented to create art? Many ways. For the sake of this video, I'll be focusing primarily on generative AI. Right now, there are a multitude of AI chatbots that have the ability to create unique written responses to user inputs. ChatGPT seems to be the most advanced of all AI chatbots by a long shot, at least the free ones. In regards to film and media, this means the ability to write scripts, log lines, character descriptions, shot lists, dialogue, basically anything you can think of. There are several AIs made for image generation, Mid Journey, Dolly 2, and Dream Studio to name a few. For these, users can create unique images with written prompts, change parts of images, completely alter the style of an original image, and more. As for video generation, there's a substantially smaller but still present market of AIs with this ability. In the most advanced of AI video generators, users can create a unique video from a written prompt, but are currently limited to only a few seconds worth of footage. With the increased exposure and use of AI in the creative world, so come the criticisms and opposing views. Both the incredibly recent strikes carried out by the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild were at least partially focused on the regulation of AI in the industry. Some creatives adamantly oppose any use of AI-generated content, while others recognize and welcome the potential for an artistic transformation. There are many ethical questions posed by the increasing use of AI in the entertainment industry, such as, who owns the rights to content generated by AI? What are the guidelines for transparency and regulation? And likely the biggest question for current and future creatives, Will increased AI involvement lead to job loss or displacement? To better analyze the main concern regarding job displacement with AI's increasing capabilities, let's critically explore the results of current AI technologies. How good is AI at creating images? For the most part, AI-generated images can be quite good, depending on the situation. Most advanced AI image generators allow for different styles of images, such as 3D art, pencil drawings, photorealistic, and even specific prompts, like in the style of Wes Anderson. However, when generating images from a written prompt, the results may be hit or miss. To get a desired look, you may need to research specific terminology to use for the prompts, and a lot of experimentation will likely be needed, which can be time consuming. Also, most AI image generators currently struggle heavily with complex details like words and human hands, for example. How good is AI at making videos? Well, compared to AI image generators, AI video generators are still in their infancy. Considering the complex nature of video generation, it's a pretty remarkable thing to see. But in terms of viability in the current culture of art and entertainment, there's little to none currently. As of now, you can clearly differentiate videos completely generated by AI and videos made by humans. On the other hand, videos generated partially by AI, like face swapping or deepfakes, can be quite convincing, which is a huge fear for many actors. How good are AI's writing abilities? It kind of depends on the situation. ChatGPT has the ability to write an infinite amount of things in an infinite amount of ways, but some are more useful than others. Need some ideas on how to end your story with a twist? You can get some instantly. But asking it to write a full feature length or even short form script? Not the best idea. Coupled with the fact that there are limitations, such as ChatGPT's inability to generate written violence, which is probably a good idea, the viability of AI written text depends. To get a better understanding of the current abilities of AI in real projects, let's take a look at some clips from two different films where generative AI played a crucial role in his creation. The first is a short film titled Dan that was entirely created with Runway's Gen 2 AI video generator. The second is a short film titled The Safe Zone that was both entirely written and directed by ChatGPT. Uh... 
What is all this? Is this a lab of some kind? I can't believe this is really happening. I can't believe we're all gonna die. We don't have to. We can go to the safe zone. Safe zone? What do you mean? I heard the government is setting up a safe zone. A place for people to live. But only one per family gets to go, and we have to decide who gets to go. Are you serious? Why do I have to choose one and leave the rest behind? We don't have a choice. It's either one of us goes or we all die. Why do we have to choose? I'll go. Oh my god, are you hearing yourself right now? Are you serious? You want to go there? You're not part of this family, Jake. We are the blood-related siblings, and if there's someone who's gonna go, it's either her or me, but definitely not you. Do you get that? It can't be you. So, are we creatives in danger of being replaced? For me, the obvious answer is no. At least not for a long, long time. Current AI still needs a heavy human hand to make anything it generates work for any real professional project. AI-generated images can be stunning, but extensive written prompts and lots of experimenting are needed, which is time-efficient in one way and not so much in another. Considering that ChatGPT's responses are based on the wealth of information it's been given, the results are generally regurgitated and modified version of all art ever made, which is hardly unique or interesting. AI-generated videos are a remarkable achievement in modern technology, but the visuals are still clearly synthetic for the most part. Used with purpose, it can be an interesting style, but to say that one day we won't need cinematographers or animators or actors because we can have an AI do all the work, I believe is just simply false. Keep in mind as well that the two projects we just watched would not be possible at all without post-production. And while some may claim that AI is already advanced enough to edit videos, I have a hard time believing that AI will learn how to weave together an abundance of elements to craft legitimately compelling stories anytime soon. Utilizing generative AI in the ways that it currently excels at opens the doors for so many low-budget projects and filmmakers, narrowing the gap between large production studios. The key here is finding creative ways to utilize different AIs to create something better than it would have generated on its own. Take the sizzle reel for example, which was made by combining images generated with Midjourney that were then made to video with Runways Gen 1. Practical uses of generative AI, such as flawless technology aimed at seamless dubbing, can allow greater accessibility and enjoyability of films on a global scale. Stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. And it's all my fault. The reality is that AI has extreme value outside of the creative world, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. For obvious reasons, this comes with a host of fears for many, specifically artists. But I believe them to be a bit exaggerated. Fears of the unknown are present with each new innovation in the world. A talking picture. Well, just a toy. It's a screen. It's vulgar. And don't get me wrong, consistent calls for regulation and transparency with regards to the use of AI, such as the ones made by the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild, are incredibly essential in ensuring a promising future in this new realm of creation. In fact, if it weren't for the recent deals made with AMPTP that at least somewhat suggest cooperation with AI regulation and the protection of creative jobs, then my opinion on the matter would be vastly different. But as long as we continue this trend and continually refine these regulations, I have faith that our livelihoods will withstand the future in new AI.